All right, shalom, 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 shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders with great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to our fellow Akin, pushing the word in truth, faith, and sincerity across the four corners. And shalom to, to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men doctrine of great millstone. It's the brother Yadai and the brother Anam from G. Mecham Church doing another uh, pre-camp in transit on the way to camp. Um, and really, we were, just, we were just speaking briefly about, um, you know, as you, as you, grow, as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai um, guides and leads you to grow and abound in the truth, you know, um, you got to deal with more things, man. More things come your way, okay? Um, more, more powerful spirits come your way, okay? Um, and that's, and that's that's on both sides, you know. Um, you know, as you as you elevate, you know, in the spirit, you know, um, you're gonna you're gonna come across and interact spirits spirits um, that are heightened on the right hand side. You know, you might um, you might you might have the pleasure and the honor to to, um, to travel and, and and deal and interact with with men of other camps or elders or men who just been doing it for uh, for a longer period of time or more. Um, established men um, in your camp, okay? And then, of course, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to allow the spiritual demon Satan, okay, to, to send his high-level um, uh, spirits on the left-hand side, you know, for to, to, to come and deal with you uh, as well, you know? Um, but we just have to just know and trust that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is working with us, okay, and that we're equipped to deal with any situation that comes our way. Oh, you can look at that preset, bro. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, and ever any trust in the Lord and what's been founded. Right. So, of course, we we um understand. You know, matches with the precept Romans fifteen and four. Of course, precept we bring out often. You know, these these stories, these accounts, okay, of men who were put in difficult situations. Even even Yahweh shot. Okay, if you read if you read the the um the Gospels of the New in the New Testament, even Yahweh shot was put in certain certain uh. Uh, high pressure situations, man. Okay, whether he was dealing with the disciples, okay, and and even even with that, he had he had to rebuke Satan off uh, off of Peter, man. Okay, when when because um, as he as he was preparing his disciples, you know, and letting them know that he was getting ready to be uh, delivered up and crucified for our sins. Okay, what happened? The, uh, Satan jumped on Peter. Okay, and. Um, that's what we were speaking about earlier. You know, as we you know elevate and continue and grow in in the, in the truth, and uh, you know our spirits become more and more refined, we're going to have to deal with just bigger bigger issues, man. More responsibilities, high, higher uh, higher level spirits on the both hand sides, the right hand side and the left hand side, because even the scriptures speak about um, you know us having the knowledge, understanding to be able to serve to serve great men with ease, man. Okay, so we have to be able to know how to deal, you know, with. Um, with, with, with those men who are, who are, who, are um, who have helped uh, carve the path in front of us, we, have, we also have to know how to um, uh, 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 engage in an attack and, and counterattack, counterpunch, so to speak. You know those left hand demons and spirits as well. That's right. You got anything? I got a definition of the word confounded from the tenth uh, tenth verse. Uh, let me read the tenth verse once again. Uh, to rock. 2 verse 10, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him and the, the definition of uh, confounded is uh, to be bewildered confused or perplexed so the Lord is not going to leave us confused in these situations to where you know, we're, we're, we're stranded on our own, and the Lord is going to guide us. He's going to send us uh, tests because, you know, this, this truth is a test. He's going to send us many tests. All right, we got to go through many diverse temptations, but we're not going to be uh, bugged out, so to speak, or bewildered or, uh, you know, find out what's going on. The Lord already got a plan and purpose, you know, for each and every one of us. Yeah, because um, even, you know, the brother made a statement about the Most High, he's not going to send us alone. Shit, there, there may be circumstances where you are actually by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and you know that's why I was saying even as far as, um, you know, as you grow and and 
you are bound in your own particular lot, you know, uh, through the spirit, of course, in this troop, in this ministry, in this body, you know, there are times where Yahweh Bashim Yahshua will isolate you, man. But, like the brother said, we're not alone because we have what? We have the Holy Spirit, we have the knowledge and understanding of these scriptures, and we have Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so even, um, and we, we, you know, we have a, we have a lot, uh, you know, uh, helping us out in this in this walk, man. Like the brother said, we're not alone. So even when, like you said, when we are isolated, what's one thing? What's the first thing that you know, um, you know, the apostles, especially Apostle Ricard, speaks about prayer. You know, what I'm saying, setting up your supplication. You know, and that's why brothers going into um, also um, getting into the Hebrew as well. Okay, <clears throat> because if you're alone, what's the point of you praying? You're praying because you trust that there's another power, another entity. It's actually helping, um, helping and, um, you know, working with you, man. Okay, was there anything else on that? Okay. Real quick, uh, grab Isaiah 41 and 14. All right, Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou warm Jacob, mm -hmm. and ye men of Israel, mm -hmm. I will help thee, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. and thy Redeemer, yeah, so like the brother said, even if we're even if you're isolated physically, meaning that you're by yourself individually in the flesh, in the spirit, we're not alone, man. Okay, like I said, we have the um, uh, the holy angels. Okay, we have the Holy Spirit. We have the the testimony uh, that's given to us in the Holy Scriptures. Okay, we have the Heavenly Father. Okay, in, in which now we, and now we by us rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay. We have, um, you know, him on our side, him on our corner, okay, working and dealing with us. And we have, just like the scriptures say, we have the Redeemer of the, the Holy, the Holy, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, okay, which is Yahweh Shai. So, really, we say all that to say, you know, as the as the pressure comes, don't run from the pressure, man, okay, because a lot, a lot of Jake, and we've seen it, you know, a lot of Jake, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sends those tests, puts you in a lower state, or just, you know, sends certain things in your way. Uh, really to test you, man, so you can actually utilize the um, utilize the knowledge, and understanding, and you and uh, 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 implement wisdom. Okay, it's it's just a test. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah continuing to uh, uh, refine us, man. You know, uh, in the spirit through the flesh. But a lot of men, when those tests comes, instead of instead of just hunkering down and taking care of their business and do what they got to do. They try to run, try to flee, okay? And that's the one thing that we can't do, especially especially with us putting our hands to the plow. We can't, we can't, we can't run, man, okay? If, if uh, anyone, a man who takes his hand uh, off the plow, you know, he's not worthy uh, to inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? That was it on that? Okay, we can jump. Let's you guys on jump to Malachi 3. Sorry to talk. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, I will send my messenger. Mm -hmm. He shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom you seek, shall sudden, suddenly come to the temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom mm -hmm. you delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. Yeah, man, so Yahweh Shai, okay, is, uh, is, is coming back, man. Yahweh Shai is going to come back, okay, to, to finish what he started, uh, uh, over 2,000 years ago, all right, when he uh, came back the last time in the flesh, okay, he's gonna come back and he's gonna do he's gonna do what he's gonna uh, uh, finish, you know, finish his uh, 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 portion and, and uh, uh, lot in in his walk at the, at that moment in time in which even then when the house comes back, it's not gonna be the end because that's gonna be the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, okay. But when he comes back, he's gonna he's gonna continue his work, okay, and doing his portion. Of his will, the Heavenly Father, okay, which is to do what? Which is to bring more destruction, all right, more judgment, uh, establish a complete balance, man, all right? Bring bring the judgment, bring the salvation, and also um, enable enable those, all right, the, hundred, the 144,000 elect men, enable those men, okay, to actually uh, uh, begin the uh, establishment, establishment of the kingdom of heaven, all right? You can say, bro. Uh, verse 2, but who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth, for he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. Yeah, so so when Yahweh Shai comes back, who's going to be able to stand, man? Who's going to be able to uh, actually, you know, um, 
be have have his works be pleasing unto the the, the, the Father Yahweh. Who's gonna be able to stand and be those those pillars, okay, in those in those um building materials, so to speak, of the house of David, okay, in which Yahweh Shah is the chief cornerstone. You know what I'm saying? Who's who's gonna who's gonna be those men to uh 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 walk in that stead? It's gonna be those same men who as the pressure comes now, okay, in the flesh, were able to uh endure it, man. And like the scriptures say, uh He's gonna be as a refiner, okay? We're able, we're able to um, um, just walk through the, the 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 straight gate, all right? The the refining, the refining in the spirit, all right? The uh, 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 the the complete purification, so to speak, you know, as, as much as we can, all right? While we're in this flesh, you can continue, bro. Right, uh, Malachi chapter three, verse um, three. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi mm -hmm. and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. You can continue, but in, and also with that, you know, understanding that now uh, Levi, the the tribe of Levi, isn't just the the only tribe of um, of priests. Now, now the um, we're going to be established as a whole of na of a nation of kings and priests, in which all twelve tribes, okay, are going to be uh, kings and priests. You know, uh, yeah, through the um, the order of Melchizedek, mm -hmm. we're all uh, priests. Mm -hmm. You know, the offering is going before going to the highways and byways mm -hmm. on that altar, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. So, like the brother said, the only ones who's going to um, survive the day of the Lord are the ones who's already been put through these trials and tribulations. You know, whether it be uh, uh, rebukes, mm -hmm. whether it be um, infirmities. Uh, financial difficulties, whatever hell that's presented before you, the Most High is not going to give you too much that you can't handle, the form you can't handle. Mm -hmm. So that's the refining process as well. Yeah, and like I said, really quick before you continue, uh, you gotta you gotta take it as a man, man. All right, because there's men, there's men who who are really who are really jacked up, man. You know, if you, you know, not not to not to you know say that if you're in a certain situation that it's not you know a serious or doesn't you know have you know get to you in a sense. But even like Apostle Gabar spoke about, man, when they were in the truth, him and Apostle Carl, they were homeless, man. All right, sleeping on the train, all right? And, yeah, you, we might have certain infirmities in the uh, in the flesh, but there's men who got real fucking sicknesses, man. All right, they got to battle. They got to battle, man, day in and day out to even just have the opportunity to get to the highways and hedges, man. All right, in which, they, you know, men have, you know, might have diabetes or high blood pressure or sickle, sickle cell anemia. All right, men have real infirmities, man. All right, so that's why... You gotta trust and have faith that you how about you was shot didn't put more on you than, than you can bear. But you gotta do your part to um allow yourself to be purified and as you're going through these uh these these um these trials so to speak, continuing to walk through and deal it deal with it as a man, man. You know? You continue, bro. Alright, uh verse four. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord. And just like the boat's going into with um through the order of Melchizedek, now the uh, the office of, 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 of uh, priesthood is opened up to all of the twelve tribes, and this and this is and this is our sacrifice, man. All right, the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem is us. All right, that's the sacrifice of the, uh, the the southern and the northern kingdom of all the tribes. This is the sacrifice in which now now, um, Lord willing, we're doing works and we're doing labors that are actually pleasant pleasant and pleasing to the heavenly Father. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. All right, uh, Malachi three and four. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, as and as in former years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and that's why too. Even like um, when uh, what Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, he came and he he was low, man. He was real low. All right, even to the point that he came riding on the um the back of an ass, man, of a of a of a, of a donkey, man. You know, and in, in which he when he was coming in um. Coming into, I believe, I believe it was Jerusalem, if I'm not mistaken. I may be incorrect though, but I, I believe it was uh, Jerusalem. When he was coming in, that um, people were uh, break, breaking branches and leaves just to, you know, set, set, you know, set the, the the tone, so to speak, of understanding that he was the king, you know. And and what the hell? It, it pleased the heavenly Father to um, to chastise and put your house out of death. So so with us and and now and and through that sacrifice. We have the opportunity to actually 
be pleasing to please the Heavenly Father and not even die. All right, because now we have yet the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah laid up and on the altar in which through through his name, through his omen he he saves, he delivers. Now we actually have a chance to, to do this work and make ourselves a sacrifice and also be saved. Not even go not even drink drink the same cup that Yahweh Shah drink. Now of course there are gonna be some men who are gonna be made, you know, martyrs in the flesh, which that word martyr can also go into um being a witness, not even just necessarily be being put to death. But there are going to be certain men who are going to be made martyrs in the flesh for the, uh, the gospel's sake. But we have opportunity to not even uh, drink of that cup, man, because of, because of our labors, of our works, and us embrace, embracing the chastisement and correct and correction of the heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. If that's read the, the fifth verse, it, I mean, that might be the point, but it might be a little more on the fifth verse. All right, uh, verse five. And I will come there to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, mm -hmm. against the adulterers, and false, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling and yep. the wages, mm -hmm. the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. Right. So it's very important for us to get it as good as we can with the time that we have, man. We're not going to be perfect, okay? And there's going to be certain there's going to be certain tests and quizzes you're just going to fail, okay? But the thing about it is, it's about are you are you engaging what you how about you how shot bringing your way as a man? Are you embracing it? Are you embracing it in the in the sense in the spirit of us understanding that we're Israelite men who are called to be the leaders of our nation? You know what I'm saying? We're called to do mighty and glorious works, all right, through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah and through the Holy Spirit, you know. And with the understanding that, that that the judgment is going to come up against the uh, the wicked swiftly, all right, we got to do our part to make sure we get, we got our head in the game, man. That we're focused and we're doing the best that we can, man, with, with what we have. You know, is there anything else? That should uh, be it. Let's go over down to verse six. Go ahead. Uh, for I'm, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So. Um, that what the Lord has promised for the elect of the nation of Israel is not going to change. The plans, the future plans of refreshing the earth to install, to install the um, law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. But from our inward parts, it's not going to change. So we have to be able to not change and, you know, stay, stay the course of the path, man. Mm -hmm. Not going to the, uh, the wide gate of destruction, man. It's going that straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, kind, kind. So we hope and pray this lesson was edifying, Akim, and uh, all the all the sincere listeners. Once again, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to our fellow Akim, pushing the word of truth, faith, and sincerity. Shalom to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.